Dave, can you put in words just how frustrating that was? Um, I suppose I've got it, it's always difficult. Um, and I suppose you'll reflect and you have to reflect and look back at the positives that were winning the game. You take so many positives, but again, it's another, another hard luck story, if you like, um, where we go home disappointed because we've taken a point in a game which, without question, we should have taken three. Um, so yeah, it's frustrating, it's annoying. Um, you've got to, I suppose, hold your tongue a little bit because it, it, you, in first in, instant you, you go, well, it should save it. Um, and unfortunately he slips. So what is one of their, well, not many, many efforts on target ends up in our goal which in normal circumstances would be a, a routine save um, and we go away with three points and we're, we're overjoyed and we're happy with our performance and um, obviously when that doesn't happen it's the complete opposite um, which again is, is disappointing um, and, and at the moment it's difficult to take any positives. Because the lads, they did, they put so much effort in there, didn't it? was a real battle out there, it was a scrap of a game wasn't it? Um, I, I, I thought I thought for the first 40, 40 minutes, probably the most complete performance since I've been here in terms of what we asked them to do, what they did, and the game should have been over. Yes, we were in front, but the game should have been, we should have been done with um, the areas we got into, the chances we created. Um, I thought we dropped off um, with the last five minutes of the first half. We looked, like I say, a little bit, a little bit tired, a little bit leggy. I asked us at half time to, to go out with an intent. Um, I was disappointed with the first 20 minutes of the second half because I thought we didn't show any intent and we got dropped too deep and as a back four we didn't get up the pitch and close that space and that got us a lot of joy in the first half which meant we could get our full backs higher up and we could get uh, on the ball and leave them with, with all their, get their one up front um, moving around and we handed the initiative for them, we've then weathered the storm um, and you're looking at potential changes and thinking well we'd seen that through and we'd come out the other side of it um, to then be done in got injury time, if you like, is a is a is a sucker punch and a, a, like I say a, a killer blow. But um, it, it's one of those things in the fact that in you can't say ninety nine times out of hundred, but on the majority of occasions that shot. If Mitch doesn't slip, he, he falls on the ball and you're 92 minutes in and the ball's in our goalkeeper's hands. Um, you, you look back and be critical a little bit. The lads have had a little bit of a, a, a sort of dip at each other in there in terms of we've got a free kick um, right. and the ball's put in and their keeper catches it comfortably. Well, again, we either commit to it or don't commit to it um, in terms of what we're doing. Again, from where it is, I think Kit should be going over and taking the free kick as a left footer as an in-swinger. If he's going to do that, then we may as well send our, our centre backs forward and, and, and go and commit to trying to get a second goal. If we're not, then back yourselves to keep the ball um, and, and, and manage the game. We've not done either, and we'd like to say we've been taught the harshest of lessons. It's a, it's a long way to come, isn't it, to get done in that fashion as well. The fans, 64, must have been as good as you and the players are. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think when people travel all that way, um, to give your support, you want to send them home with something. I suppose, listen, on the, the grand scheme of things, if we'd have, if we'd have come here and been outplayed and got home with a point, we'd probably probably have taken it. Mm -hmm. And um, the manner of the way things happen are always obviously disappointing. I think the, the the big positive for me was that they can see after the game that what the players have done, um, and the players have no um, no problem in going to thank them for for their support because. Like I said, we've done we've done everything we, we can or they've done everything they can today in terms of um, getting ourselves three points and one you can have bits of luck and bits of bad luck. Mm -hmm. One stroke of I suppose misfortune ultimately has cost us cost us two points today and um, that that's obviously upsetting and, and disappointing, um, especially when at times this season or there's, there's been occasions this season when you'll always look back and go, we should have got more points there, we should have got more points there. There's been so many uh, what-ifs, um, and the further you go along, ultimately, you think, is it going to cost you?